Good morning. I am in major denial of 2023. Like... Oh. those two weeks that everybody's supposed to get off first week of January nobody really does anything I, in my mind we're still there like it's like low-key about to be February <laughs> uh, good morning Los Angeles baby you are next okay hold on girls if you're engaged or married or whatever you need this because here's the tea it's really easy to lose your ring, I shouldn't even say that. Knock on wood, God forbid, but I've heard from a little bird that it's easy to lose it, especially if every time you take it off your finger, you put it in a different location. Like, oh, I'm gonna shower, let me put it on the shelf. Oh, I'm gonna sleep, let me put it on the nightstand. Like, that's how girls be losing it. And if you have like one designated zone that it goes every single time it leaves your finger, it's a lot less easy to lose. And look at how Gorgina this crystal ring holder is. I'll link it for you. Los Angeles, you are next. 12, 3, 30, hot girl walk. January 21, you're gonna put this address into your maps and it's gonna bring you to a gate that looks like this. That is where we're gonna meet. Okay, I'm just kidding. This is what the gate looks like and this is the address. Put it in your maps. I recommend taking an Uber because LA parking sucks. All my friends are coming. We cannot wait to hang and meet you and do this hike together. Sun Life Organics is gonna be there giving us some goodies. And it's gonna be a time, obviously New York City was so iconic. Like. When I tell you that these girls came in sick outfits with the cutest dogs, with the best energy, everybody made so many friends. Like I still get DMs to this day, like we met each other at the hot girl walk. So many people made friends that way. Um, so don't be afraid to come alone because that's the whole point. It's like to make friends that you wouldn't have met otherwise. The 12 to 30 community is so unique, honestly. Like do not be afraid to come alone. When I tell you that we are kind, we are positive, we're friendly. We just want to make friends and have good vibes. And you know, that's what it's all about. So January 21st, I checked the weather because LA has been a little rainy. 0% chance of rain, bitch. If that ain't fate. Okay, let's get this day started. Oh God. Also, while I'm in LA, um, it's gonna be my bachelorette. I'm really excited. The first day we're gonna do wedding dress trying. Like I'm trying a bunch of wedding dresses with all my girls there so they can help me like pick. Second day is a hopper walk because I want you to be involved in my bachelorette. Like it's not a bachelorette without you, you know? I didn't do New Year's resolutions this year. Um, but in general, oh my God, here I am talking about New Year's resolutions as if it's the first week of January. I'm telling you, I'm in such denial. Never mind. New Year's resolutions, bitch, like that's so yesterday, fully. Oh my God. First day, I don't know if this is a new release from them, but this is awesome. This is their bounce boosting serum with collagen and peptides. Everything they make is safe for sensitive skin. I don't think my skin is sensitive though. Like this skin barrier is made out of like bulletproof. Glass. Like, I don't know why, um, but this is, <laughs> why am I like, I'm sorry. That was like not even funny. It's made out of bulletproof glass. I'm literally a herb. 2023 is here and I'm a herb. I was cool in 2022 and now I'm a herb. Anyways, you love me regardless, bitch. <laughs> Um, this rocks because it's lightweight. It's a lightweight serum. It feels like bouncy, like a cloud. Like I don't know how to describe it. But it's rare that I get excited about, no it's not. But I got excited about this serum because I love it for the daytime. Like there's lots of serums that really excite me, but I'm more inclined to put them on at night. Like this one, for example, it's super bougie. Honestly, don't even look at the price because you'll want to die. But this one, the Shiseido Ultimate Power Infusing Concentrate. If you got that guap, like if you got it like that, buy this. But this is for a night and it excites me. But this one for the day, I mean, I believe it's affordable. First Aid Beauty is never like break the bank vibes. The formula is so light and like bouncy and airy. You put it on and you don't feel like thick film. And it really gives my skin like such a nice glow. So shout out to them. I need to get like all new skincare, honestly, because I have a conspiracy theory that everything you see on the shelf is expired. 2023 th things. I need to like get my act together. I hate to take this video in like a downward direction, um, but it seems like 
Should I even bring this up because it's kind of depressing? Maybe we could just talk about like what I'm gonna wear to the gym. I think I'm gonna put on uh, something with a little more support for this workout. Oh, I forgot that I bought this. Okay, cool. So put on this Lululemon line tank or whatever I think it's called. This top, I mean, you'll see. Here I am with my little, my girls. They're fine. They're there, but nothing crazy. The second I put on this top, it's gonna be like, <gasps> BAM! Fucking Pamela Anderson on a beat. Lululemon line shirt. We'll pam you. But no, we're big girls here. We can talk about it. Um, hello. Is 2023 like the year of like the recession? Oh my god. I hate to like bring this up. But oh, tell me why. I mean, I think, yeah. Tell me why grocery shopping right now sucks. Like you buy four things and it's $80. I'm watching all these like fashion videos where they forecast trends and whatever. Hi not Baywatch, you know what I mean? Hello, oh my god, it's like, um, I'm watching all these like fashion, like there's just, just no escaping this because you go to the grocery store and it's very like much so happening. Okay, cool. Then I watch these fashion videos where it's talking about like 2023 trends and it's like, oh, um, 2023's trend is recession core. And I'm like, what do you mean? It's like, oh, minimalism. Like 2022 was about more about like maximalism and chunky rings and fun. And 2023 is about like minimalism and uh, pieces that are staple pieces in your wardrobe because like it's going down. So yeah, we're there. As much as I'm like a grown adult a little bit, I'm a little bit of a grown adult, let's be real. I feel like 20 is like, we're all like, we're adults, we're adults in the back of our minds like we know like we're kind of not <laughs> you know what i mean like are we let's be fucking real you're gonna tell me that 20s and 30s are the same like we have the same mental bandwidth no i am sorry anyways okay morning workouts i really just wear it's at i've noticed that if i save my workout till 2 p.m like i'm just not gonna go as hard there's something about that morning energy that hits so uniquely oh my god it's freezing it's freezing and it's raining Ugh. i'm freezing cold uh, 2023 vibes. Okay, we are gonna be healthy. We're gonna work out because we want to, not because we want to look a certain type of way. <sighs> the world shaking, stir it. That's what it is all about. Up in the air, and then I want to feel it right now. You get the best of both worlds. Chillin' out, take it slow, then you rock out the show Mix it all together and you know that it's the best of both Let me tell you something First of all, I slayed that workout I hip thrusted like 200 something pounds a bunch of times, it was good What else did I do? I did deadlifts I don't know, I did like 115 pound RDLs and I slayed those I like really like did a good amount of reps and weight today so slay let me tell you something about a glute burnout at the end i put the band on and i did some squats some side lunges blah 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 all with the band and in the moment like especially when you get to your third round you want to literally you want to not but after after a good little glute burnout i swear it gives you the most instant pump like i looked at my butt in the mirror and i was like i'm like okay Glad I did that. Okay, so I did some online thrifting and I really snapped. I'm talking pieces that will make your wardrobe so good, especially for 2023. There's a lot of things that people are into that I feel like you can't buy them new. Like you can, but they don't hit the same and they're not made as good as they were when they were originally intended to be made. You know what I'm talking about? Like these style of vintage point toe heels, like these are the best when you buy them vintage because the new ones don't hit the same. I got these coach ones from ThreadUp and they're such a good everyday staple. I got these silver kitten heels. Kitten heels, I'm so sorry, are not made today like they were back in the day. Like they were just made better. I got these from ThreadUp, got such a good deal on them. This purse, such a good everyday shoulder bag. Silver's so in right now and I like this one because it's silvery, but it's like gun metally at the same time. I'm obsessed, this is a Nine West bag. The price was right. I'm so into this. I've already worn this a million times. I got the cutest white belt just to accessorize, add a pop of detail. This mini skirt, it's from BP. I got it with a tag still on it. And I got such like a good deal. I'm picturing this for like every day. 
with like this silver little kitten heel and maybe like this white tank top literally this skirt they just don't make skirts like this anymore i got this from thread up too like the material is everything the fit is everything you see how the front print is different than the back print the front's this like floral one and the back is like this floral one like so cute so shout out to thread up I love online thrifting. Such an easy and fun way to add like great staple pieces to your wardrobe without breaking the bank. And I have a better discount for you than usual. Use my code Lauren G and get 35% off your first thread up order. And they have this new feature too where you can like click the links of what I got and it'll show you similar items. So I'll put that in the description. And thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. This is like my favorite thread up haul I've ever done. Honestly, Lua is a local celebrity at Sprouts. Come here, mom. Every time we go to Sprouts, she gets so much attention. And she really eats it up. So we're gonna go. Honey gets so pissed at me because we always have to go to like the grocery store to get like one thing. But I'm out of avocados and I need them. We go to gro the grocery store like four or five times a week. Like for no, we go grab one thing and then leave. And then tomorrow she's like, Oh, I need one thing. And I'm like, bruh, how many times, baby? How many times? But it's fun. Go? We always have a good time. It's a fun time, yes. But then going there, I'm like, oh my God, why? <laughs> Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces passing, I'm homebound. It's fresh bread. Oh, yeah. It's made with three main ingredients, flour, water, and sea salt. Oh, this looks fire. It's a big pineapple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Have a good day. You too. Making a healthy little meal. I'm gonna do avocado toast, regular schmegu. Okay, healthy meal, avocado toast, double entendre eggs, and an arugula salad. And then I would love some fruit. So the easiest and most delicious salad recipe of all time. Takes four seconds to make and comes out bomb. Arugula. Olive oil. And shaved parm, that's it. I wanna make it a little bit more interessant today, so I'm gonna add a little adobo and some baby tomatoes, but truly it's like those three little ingredients and you have the best salad of all time and it goes with anything. Like how beautiful. This is really easy if you're making like a chicken or a steak or something and you wanna have a side but you're lazy. Thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. 